Hello and welcome to another tutorial on uh, API testing with Python series. In the last video, I was talking about form authentication and the case where you need to consider authenticity token. Uh, so we have a sample application for just the case. Uh, I'm just going to capture a login call here. I'm going to say test one, test two. This is a demo open source application or in nature. So if we just click on login and capture the login back and call, we can see that this is second okay. This is a post method and there are a bunch of parameters here in the form data. Action ID and other stuff. Uh, this is the username and this is the pass password. Uh, but this particular parameter here, CSRF token that is gener uh, dynamically generated every time you visit this site so uh, you will need to mm, grab this id this token first then uh, uh, you can make a post request to successfully log into the application uh, by backend so let's see how we can do this first of all you to get this token there are two ways you can do this one is by using some html parser second is uh, by using regular expression uh, for parsing you can make use of uh, beautiful soup all you have to do is uh, uh, pip install ps4 i think that's the latest version uh, if you do this you should be able to import uh, uh, beautiful soup module uh, from BS4. <coughs> okay. Uh, once you're done, let's just start with this. I'm just going to import a request. <coughs> then I'm just going to import uh, beautiful soup. Import beautiful soup. Okay. Uh, let me go back to the browser. This is the home page. Okay. Now I'm going to start a session here. Request dot session is equal to session. And this way you don't have to worry about cookies and stuff. If you use the request directly, then you'll have to provide the cookies. Okay. Now I'm going to say request dot get and do the get request for the page now we will need to get the csr token from the dom let's see where the okay here is the csrf token now yeah we we'll, we need to extract this value attribute so we can make use of uh, css selector within beautiful soup to get the value of this uh, particular web element so let's see how we can do that uh, this is the response uh, okay now we can create object of a beautiful soup can say resp dot text then here lxml soup equal to this now now what we can do is soup dot select and here we can provide the CSS selector. For example, this one has ID equal to CSRF underscore token. I can just make use of that hash. This CS hash CSRF token will give me this uh, element. So if I do that, this will return me a list of uh, basically return me a list. I can just access the first one by doing indexing zero then I can say I need to get the value attribute for that I can just do get then here I have to provide value that is the this attribute name here value so this will give me the CSRF token okay CSRF equal to this now let's see I'm just going to print and check uh, is working or not CSRF okay okay so this is uh, working just fine so another way of doing this is uh, is 
using regular expression mm, although it's not preferred usually whenever you can parse the data it's better to go with the parses so if you are using regular expression uh, let me just uh, comment this three part three lines okay and then uh, we'll need to write some pattern uh, i'm just going to copy this element copy element uh, say okay re you can import regular expression by doing import re re dot compile here you can provide the expression i'm going to pass this so i'm interested in this value here i can just do like dot plus a question mark and then this is the pattern okay now i need to do re dot search here i can provide the pattern comma the response that is as dot t text okay let's uh, see this is the csrf okay we can just assign this to results now i'll try and print results dot group okay this is not giving me okay uh, this particular end tag has some special meaning in uh, regular expression something like look behind i think so we can just uh, get rid of that and try again okay it's giving me some value let me just change the index here let me just try with that okay so this is uh, giving me the csrf token this is the way you can do it with the regular expression but it's better to better to go with the beautiful soup in this case so that's the way you can do that now i'm just going to uncomment this part okay now we now that we have the csrf token now we can just try logging in uh let's say payload login let's go data should be equal to some dictionary that dictionary is uh, the one we captured here okay uh, okay you just scroll down and see okay it's not here i'm going to submit the form one more time here yeah, they have given us some uh, default uh, some test uh, username uh, credentials you can just make use of that we just log in okay okay so this is the payload uh, that we need to provide here uh, we need to give quotes i think i saved it somewhere you can just make use of this data so login data this is the login payload this particular cs uh, csrf token is the generated dynamically so that is the one extra thing we need to do here so you, now we can just make a uh, post request here i'll give the url url might be a little bit different from the word what is screen on the top here need to just go with this request url push the url equal to this then we have data equal to login login data so this i'll assign this to response variable we just print this this dot text okay now this will have the uh, basically this will have some html response mm, let me just run this so if i have logged in successfully in the back end i should be able to see this logout link so i'll just now i just I will have just search for that link. Just do logout, search for logout. Okay, now I can see the link in the page uh, source. So that means 
uh, I have logged in successfully it's working fine now let's try without the CSRF here Okay, I'm just going to remove the CSRF and let's try if we can find the login logout link here. As you can see, I'm not getting any match for logout link. So that means I'll uh, if without the CSRF token, you will not be able to log in by uh, in backend. So this is the way we can do the login and uh, uh, once you're logged in you can access all the APIs backend calls available uh, uh, I mean that is depending on your permission levels so uh, in this application we don't have uh, any uh, REST APIs configure uh, this is just a plain uh, backend so yeah that's the way we can log in basically to authentic authentic form authentication with uh, dynamic authenticity token um, it will not always be CSRF uh, it might be like different tip for a different application it will have different names like authenticity underscore token or something else uh, so yeah this is the okay this is not just in API testing this first step is important if you like ever want to build a crawler for your site this is the first step you have to do uh, if you want to do some security testing or performance testing uh, basically if you want to access your backend uh, you, when uh, you have to do the authentication in this way so this is how we can do this um, also yeah like I said if you don't use uh, this uh, request uh, if you use a request directly here uh, instead of a session then you will have to provide the cookies to yourself you can access that I think by doing resp dot cookies this will give you the cookies okay that's the that's how we can do this and uh, yeah i think that's about it uh, yeah thank you for watching